Also, legendary couples are just meant to be together. Tom and Jerry, for goodness sakes. Torval and Dean, Charles and Camilla, the creepy same difference, guys. Today is no exception as T4 reunites two iconic broadcasters, Makita Oliver and Simon Amstel. Should I the just world. go? Because no, we could do it on we your... wanted you here, babes. Okay. It's Simon Amstel. Yeah. Hello, dear friend. Hello, you. Wonderful. Hello, Hello Simon. Lovely Welcome. to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, I think I'm okay. It's a bit peculiar, but it's it's all right, isn't it? Should we start with um, what happened at breakfast recently with you? The oh, Simon, you and your controversy. Tell me everything. Should I explain it? Yeah, explain yeah. it, because I don't want to I think, I think uh, essentially, on breakfast, uh, which is on the BBC in the morning, yeah. I was there to promote my stand-up DVD. Also on the show that day was Russell Watson, the popular opera singer. Yeah. They had been trailing him throughout their three hours as coming up later, Simon Amstel with his DVD, and Russell Watson, who talks about having brain tumours. Now he can sing even better, now he's recovered. So then they, they wrap up my interview, and I can see that they've just got that sort of live TV thing of we've got to wrap it up, and I go, OK, stop talking, Simon, we've got to get Russell on with his tumours. <laughs> I was just sort of repeating <laughs> what they had what, said. What, you were just in and <clears throat> repeating the menu? Yes, that was... That, I wasn't devaluing the seriousness of having brain tumours. <laughs> that had already been achieved. Let's not dwell on it. Let's talk about the DVD, uh, the wonderful DVD. Um, we're just going to ask you some leading questions and then you answer them. Is that OK? okay? Is, that, you, is that how you want to play it? I don't... <laughs> I, what, what's the alternative? <laughs> <laughs> no, That's no, how it works. No, so okay. we have some pretty dry laminated questions here. They're laminated. First question. How long is the DVD and what is its certificate? Uh, certificate 15. Mm -hmm. uh, length 61 minutes mm -hmm. plus extras totalling 39 minutes. Mm -hmm. It is very funny. No, no, no. no that was oh, 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 sorry, sorry. That I can't. Was the first question. Wait just a minute. Sorry. In time. So we need... Okay. Uh, second question. What is it about? I oh. would say it is about <laughs> depression. Mm. Oh. Loneliness. Funny. Simon T4, yeah. But ultimately, <laughs> <laughs> acceptance and the sugar babes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Third um, question. Yeah. Shall we have a look at the clip? Yes! 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 I was in Paris recently with a new group of people, one of which was quite a sort of kooky, interesting girl. Although in hindsight, not that interesting. <laughs> I always get fooled. I was thinking, oh, she seems fascinating. Is she Simon or does she just have short hair? <laughs> completely fascinated. Ended up thinking, oh, I'll talk to her for the rest of my life. Bored after 10 minutes. You should grow your hair and stop misleading people. <laughs> The Independent, of course, Do Nothing or DMD. An eloquent journey through the apparent haplessness of Simon Amstel's love life. Oh, yes. Okay, big question. <laughs> oh. Big question. <laughs> Do you worry that this level of honesty will ever make you undateable? <laughs> <laughs> I think if we, you know, if you think about what's important in a relationship, it is honesty, isn't it? So two people can talk to each other and to strangers for money. <laughs> <laughs> then that's a great thing, that's isn't it? That's a great thing, sure. Well, the small talk is cut out. Yeah. Yeah. Watch my DVD. <laughs> Watch my DVD. Here, yeah, I said that to a therapist recently. <laughs> we were sort of talking about my various issues, and I started telling these anecdotes that I've already turned into humour. I said, <laughs> I felt sort of awkward making them funny in the room with her, and I said, I've, got, I've actually got a DVD coming out, baby. <laughs> Everything that's wrong with me is on that DVD. Oh, brilliant. Everything. Brilliant. That's a good plug. Yeah. <laughs> We should talk about Grandma's House. I have a stat about it here. It drew more viewers than Arnold Schwarzenegger's collateral damage on at the same time. 1.8 million viewers. How does that make you feel? A success? Well, kind of. That was the first week. And then the, <laughs> the second week, a lot of people went, we are angry if we watch this programme and we will never watch it again. We will also tweet about how angry we are. <laughs> Did you enjoy the acting side of it? People saw me playing a version of myself on the sitcom and thought, well, that's not good. He, he, he looks like an absolute mess. And now, after the breakfast debacle, and now the sort of the, yes. here, the nervousness here, people can see this. I'm an odd, <laughs> upsetting human being, and I did that very well in Grandma's house. Let's talk about Evan Buscox. Uh, I know that you've put, you know, a very modest person, but let's not lie. It was a huge hit, and it was a very big deal. Do you ever miss not being part of that huge show and the big deal that it was? No. Okay. I really. I like with what we did together, five years plus three years of Buzzcocks, I'd I had nothing left to say about Anthony Costa. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing. I had I didn't know what to do. <laughs> are we done? I think we are done. Who We've else covered is everything. Exhausted. Simon Amstel, everybody. Amstel.